Hi, I'm Garrett Akerson, CEO of Akerson Enterprises and crypto investor. Peter, good to see you. Nice to see you again, Garrett. My name is uh, Peter Platzer. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Spire Global, a company that leverages space to solve problems on Earth with uh, a very large satellite constellation that we own and operate. So it was very serendipitous that you and I met at a conference and we're talking about how we can combine crypto and blockchain with climate impact. So talk to us a little bit more about ERB, ERI and, and what we have planned here. Yeah, absolutely. So it blew my mind when I learned a little while ago that one of like the most necessary variables to understand how quickly the climate of the earth is changing, namely, the reflectivity of Earth is not known with any uh, agreeable and necessary accuracy. It's like giving someone a salary and saying, oh, you might get 50% more or 50% less. I actually don't know. That's how much we know about the reflectivity, which mm -hmm. if you think about it, um, it determines how much energy from the sun that is hitting Earth is getting stuck on Earth versus reflected back. And that's what ERI is, it's the earth radiation imbalance, earth radiation balance. And we do need to know this number. And currently we don't know it with a, a appreciable accuracy to really drive forecasts and predictions and actions. Right, there's been attempts to calculate it before, but it's my understanding that we would need a constellation of satellites to continually monitor this. So how many satellites are we talking about and what would that look like? Exactly right. You know, traditionally we have had, you know, one satellite here, maybe a second satellite there. And because the earth is turning and the, and the clouds are moving, it just doesn't give you the required accuracy. So what we are talking about here is 20 satellites that measure this from like a number of points instantaneously and drive down that accuracy, uh, uh, drive up that accuracy tremendously and drive down that error bar. Right. And those 20 satellites, that's not a 20 year project as some of those other projects are. It's also not a you know, $5 billion project as many of those other projects were. It's something where within 15 months, you would actually have data already to drive action. This is the power of the, the new, the fast space that is leveraging a Moore's law type improvement of 10x every five years to leverage the objectivity and the scientific relevance of data captured from space to solve problems on Earth. Yeah, I love it that we can have an answer within 15 months to be monitoring that. So that's phase one. Talk to us about some other things we can do with that data and what else we can measure. That's really just a starting point, Garrett. There is a large number of so-called essential climate variables, which can and should be measured from space, where you need a constellation of satellites to measure them with the required accuracy. Peatlands, for example, is one of the largest carbon storages. Monitoring the health and any restoration efforts requires this temporal resolution. The thickness of ice is, an, is, is another one. The, uh, the, the speed of hurricanes is another one. The, the, the temperature of the oceans, and I can keep on going with those variables. Now just picture an oracle of climate data that has all that information on chain transparently, and then can leverage it for enforcement, compliance action, um, uh, driving impact, taking carbon out. Mm -hmm. I think it's a hugely powerful and valuable data set that this oracle of climate data will have. Yeah. Yeah, so phase two, or really part of phase one is we can become the oracle of climate data on chain and bring climate data on chain to use uh, in any number of use cases, like you said. And I think that in and of itself is gonna generate a ton of value for the crypto community in general and uh, everyone involved. I, I, you know, Jensen Huang was talking about creating a digital twin in the metaverse. So even use cases like that, you're going to need climate data on chain to be able to do that type of modeling. Absolutely. That's a, that's, that's a great another use case yeah. of this transparency and of this objective data captured from space, completely free of any 
country boundaries, political influence, or corporative interests. Right. I, corporate earnings, you know, you're concerned about the next quarter if you're running a, a public company. You know that, Peter. And, and governments, I mean, their horizon, who knows what their horizon is, much longer, much slower, you know, if they ever get to it. So I think the power is, is this community, we can fund this, uh, this DAO that we've put together as a community, as it grows, we can then decide what we're going to do with the data in the future, uh, how we're going to license it, how we're going to leverage it, how we're going to use it, and what, you know, future phase two and three looks like as well, what we want to do there. Absolutely. It really is a perfect fit for some action that needs to be taken for humanity and for the planet, but that currently is falling through the structures that we have, the yeah. capitalistic corporations on one side, the political uh, you know, two-year election cycle system on the other side. Mm -hmm. It needs to be decentralized. It needs to be owned by the people for the benefit of the people and quite frankly of our children because yeah. they are the ones well, that will inhabit this and, planet. And not even our children, right, Peter? I mean, if you're 24 right now, if you're if you're anywhere in your 20s yeah. right now, climate change is going to affect you. Like the future of the planet, yeah. uh, it will directly impact you. But regardless of your stance of where you're at on climate, climate change, becoming the oracle of climate data on chain, the uses there are really uh, limitless on what we can do. And it's certainly needed. So that's the background of Climate Action DAO, what, we're, what, we're, what we've set out to do phase one. And uh, we're really excited for you to join us, um, the listener, and uh, join this DAO and bring climate data on chain, calculate ERB, and hold governments and corporations accountable. Exactly right. I'm excited about it. Me too, Peter. Good to see you again. Likewise.